Hello Akuma fans, this is Charlie with the Gossiker Application staff with another tip for you today. I've got a customer with an Akuma Turning Center where after a tool failure he's found that his X center line is no longer the center of rotation. Now generally when we set up a turning center like this we make sure that a boring bar socket just like this one here that you see in the graphic let's see if we can rotate that around a little bit for you a boring bar socket like that will be at X0 when the center of that pocket matches up perfectly with the spindle center which now I totally lost there it is so spindle center that one right there to center of the boring bar block should be X0 now that's a choice you can if you have a live tooling machine we could make that X0 the center of your live tool this is a personal choice but let's just deal with the easy right now and I'm going to show you how to reset this so that um, once you put a drill tap or reamer into a boring bar socket then you'll be able to simply have your X offset for that tool as zero. So now I bolted a block to the machine I need to put that in the cutting position in my case this is in turret position 5 so I will execute that into cutting position and move forward so I don't knock my sub spindle. I'm going to go ahead and use the collision avoidance software so we can see just how slick this will work and maybe we'll uh, angle that back around just a wee bit so that we can um, uh, we can see what the heck I'm up to good enough okay so now that that's in the cutting position I'm going to just command G0 to X0 which should be the center line Zip. In theory now, the center of the bore bar socket and the center of the chuck are aligned, but we need to double check that. So a coaxial indicator is definitely the way to go, but if you don't own a coax, I've seen people make this work with a mag base on the chuck, and uh, it's it's been known to cause problems as the indicator inverts you can have a little gear lash but if you've got a good quality indicator and your mag base is on there good and tight you should be okay I prefer a coax so now I would machine the uh, the bore bar socket close enough to where the coaxial indicator is now engaged with the bore and sweep it in you notice that right now my X position is zero and there is no tool offset active. That's important. So once I figure out how far off I am, I might just adjust. That's a little more than I normally would, but I'll adjust, you know, we'll just say that we were off by uh, 240 thousandths. There we go. That was a pretty good bump I had. So now with the X axis stationary in this position, I'm going to jump over to my parameter page and display change key down until I find system 2 there it is system parameter number 2 that guy right there highlight it and close and now this base 0 offset is the difference between the encoders home position and the machine center so by highlighting it and doing calibrate input then it will change the this X value and change this simultaneously let's go ahead and do it calibrate 0 enter now you notice that the X value is 0 and my base 0 offset has changed so now I'm right back on for um, uh, for X center line. Now, if you do have a twin spindle machine, keep in mind that you have a separate parameter for each of those for the one spindle or the two spindle. And if you simply come up here and change to your second spindle, we have a whole separate number there. So don't forget that it's there and um, make sure you are updating the correct spindle, otherwise, you're going to have a world of hurt. Hope that helps you, and if you need any help, please contact your local Gosker application staff. Thank you.